بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از می ڈاکٹر صادق علی فرام ڈاکٹر میڈیکل لیکچر اکیڈمی پلیٹ فارم ٹوڈے وی ول گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس فار اے اسٹوڈنٹ ہو آر ریکویسٹنگ می اگین اگین دیٹ سر ہاؤ وی کین پریپیئر فار ایف سی پی ایس پارٹ 1 ٹو پاس دی ایگزام آن فرسٹ اٹمپٹ سو لیٹ می ٹیل یو ایف سی پی ایس پارٹ 1 دوز ہو آر گوئنگ ٹو اپیئر ان دا اپ کمنگ ٹیسٹ اور افٹر دیٹ فار دوز اسٹوڈنٹ دس ویری شارٹ ویڈیو ول بی ویری ویری پروڈکٹیو in my hand you people may see this book that is just only to see to see the you guys ki if you follow the mcq book koi bhi kitab aap log utha kar dekhe chahe aap koi bhi book hai market ke andar jisme updated data hai aap log isko istemal karenge to inshallah aap logo ko fayda dega lekin usse pehle let me tell you how the cpsp changed the data and they changed the approach nowadays past paper we study but they not work properly because they want to know something special from us because they change the data a lot now let me tell you i put some 1 to 2 mcqs for you guys to understand that how you people can prepare for fcps part 1 agar aap logo ne taiyari karni hai to phir kis tarike se taiyari kare jisse aap log apni success rate ko badha sakte hain for example now let me tell you this mcq that is the mcq such type of stem they will ask in the exam as well for example a 56 year old now this age of the person is very very important one a 56 year old man develop acute severe shortness of breath four days after st elevation mi now the patient have st elevation mi that is very very important one but the patient has for example 56 year old now after that the patient have on examination in emergency department the blood pressure is very low that is hypotension and similar on both arm but the pulse is high and the respiratory rate is 28 that is tachypnea respiratory rate is very high and there is raised jvp that is jvd jugular venous distinction because he has elevated jugular venous pressure plus followed by pain systolic murmur that is called pain systolic murmur which is loudest at the apex now this is the point you people should know for the exam my point of view jab aap log fcps ki taiyari karte hain to you people should read the stem properly in the stem age of the person presentation of that individual and some very important sometime the lab investigation they provide a lab big clue to us that there is something very important in that scenario now if you look with that scenario the patient has st st elevation mi and after that the patient has hypotension for example in this case the bp is very very low there is hypotension and number 2 there is raised jvp jugular venous pressure is very high that is jugular venous distinction and there is for example murmurs murmur muffled heart sound now for don't forget this concept when such type of thing come you people must think ki for example that is the post mi complication that is the post mi complication now with diagnosis what is the best fit with this clinical condition now you people will think that in such type of case may you people think about cardiac tamponade kyunki cardiac tamponade is a post mi complication and there is for example three thing which is called a big striate but here there is no cardiac tamponade now the what important point you people should know it is a case of cardiac tamponade but how it lead to after mi the cardiac tamponade remember when there is a pain systolic murmur the word is pain systolic murmur now you people will think that pain systolic murmur commonly seen in which condition for example in aortic dissection there is no pain systolic murmur in aortic regurgitation there is no pain systolic murmur because in this condition there is early diastolic murmur in aortic regurgitation there is early diastolic murmur early blowing diastolic murmur but in atrial septal defect in this condition there is wide and fixed splitting of s2 i have a video on that and we will discuss with the time in fcps part 1 video lecture wide and fixed splitting we will discuss this concept as well of s2 kyunki jo s2 sound hai iske do components hai a2 and p2 wide splitting of s2 now if you see for example there is a pain systolic murmur in the given question now you think that my question is not c 
nut D and nut E. Now, after this, you exclude the three things that is called deductive method of MCQ. Now, your uh, point is either it is VSD or mitral regurgitation. Now, remember VSD, it is a asynotic heart disease. और ये अर्ली लाइफ में जैसे मतलब एडल्टहुड के अंदर ये डायग्नोज हो जाती है और दूसरी बात यह है इट इज आल्सो हैज अ प्रेमसिस्टोलिक मरमर बट दैट इज नॉट द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ एमआई बिकॉज़ यू हैव अ क्लू दैट इज एसटी एलिवेशन एमआई डोंट फॉरगेट दिस सो इन दिस केस द प्रेमसिस्टोलिक मरमर व्हिच इज वेरी लाउडेस्ट एट द एपेक्स रिमेंबर एपेक्स इज अ माइट्रल वॉल सो माइट्रल वॉल इसमें दो चीजें है वन इज माइट्रल स्टीनोसिस one is mitral regurgitation now mitral stenosis characterized by mid diastolic murmur with opening snap mid diastolic rumbling murmur rumbling is the word used mid diastolic rumbling murmur that is ms mitral stenosis but here pan systolic murmur at the apex apex is the word used for mitral area now the question answer will be mitral regurgitation now this is the question they will ask the cpsb change a data regarding the mcq that they check the difficulty level we are enough confident yeah enough competent to pass the exam or not now for example in the lecture or in the previous past paper when you see such type of question come and they will directly give the cardiac tamponade they will directly ask what is the most likely diagnosis or if the cardiac tamponade is there what you will do initially pericardiosynthesis but in that pericardiosynthesis nowadays they ask how it do what is the complication what is the indication what is the contraindication you people should know something special to pass fcps part 1 and first attempt so such type of question they will ask you now i can exclude one by one if you exclude one by one for example it's me your concept is clear my point of view if you pass the exam very easily you have to clear your concept without concept it is impossible for example this is the next question again very very important question and this type of question they all the time tested upon in the exam that is very important for example a 45 year old african caribbean woman that is a very very important clue that is africo caribbean woman remember jab bhi is tarah ka question aata hai african origin young female aur usme hyaluronic lymph adenopathy bilateral ya shin ke upar erythema nodosum एंटीरियर यूवियाटस इस तरह के सिम्टम्स आते हैं तो हमें सोच में आना चाहिए सार्कोडोसिस इन अदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ अ ओरिजिन इज अफ्रीकन कैरेबियन इन द पेशेंट केम टू जीपी आफ्टर अटेंडेंट वुमेन क्लिनिक हर जीपी वरीड दैट मे शी हैव हाइपरटेंशन एंड व्हेन द बीपी आर रिकॉर्ड ऑन टू केजन सो शी हैज हाइपरटेंशन 160 बाय 95 एंड देन 170 बाय 90 बट द पेशेंट इज वेल an asymptomatic asymptomatic mean in every hypertensive patient we should always go for three things what is the age of that patient what is the ethnicity of that patient origin mean race of the patient number 3 comorbid condition either with hypertension there is diabetes or not or with hypertension there is ckd or not we should know this type of thing and the last but not the least we should also see hypertensive urgency versus hypertensive emergency ki may there is end organ damage or not but now here the blood pressure is high but not that much high which can cause end organ damage so actually the patient is asymptomatic and the full blood count and renal function test are also within the normal range so now here the most important thing ki there is a high blood pressure high blood pressure but the female is africo caribbean origin so what is the initial management for hypertension now you people should know ki when the question come now two things is very important one for example a patient with hypertension uska blood pressure is very high and now you see the ages of that patient now simple isolated hypertension if the age is less than 55 if the age is less than 55 what you will do and if the age is more than 55 what you will do now the drug of choice for those patient whose age is less than 55 and the cases isolated hypertension then it is either ace or arb we can go for these two ace or arb angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or angiotensin receptor blocker but if the age is more than 55 we have to go for calcium channel blocker so you should know this type of thing 
and that is the rule and that is the new guideline you people should follow it ke less than 55 the best to respond that is ac inhibitor and more than 55 that is calcium channel blocker lekin yahan pe accept accept means ke exception is there exception is there if africo caribbean origin if someone africo caribbean africo caribbean agar ek patient hai aur uski origin jo hai africo caribbean hai बट उसका एज भी 55 से कम है दिन द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस विल बी सी सी बी सो कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर इन टू कंडीशन यू पीपल शुड नॉट फॉरगेट विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन वन आइसोलेटेड हाइपर टेंशन इफ द एज इज मोर देन 55 फाइव एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इफ द एज इज लेस देन 55 फाइव बट एट द सेम टाइम द पेशेंट हैज वर्ड आंसर इज एफ्रिको कैरेबियन ओरिजन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर फॉर सी सी बी नो वेन आई गो फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑप्शन here africo caribbean is relevant of the age we should go for ccb now this remipril is what that is called ace inhibitor that is not the answer what is endipamide that is called thiazide diuretic thiazide diuretic is not the answer what is metoprolol metoprolol is very important that is beta blocker again that is not the answer and last one that is doxazosin alpha blocker so you people should know these four okay, one is ace inhibitor thiazide diuretic beta blocker and alpha so what is amlodipine that is one of the ccb calcium channel blocker now when you see such type of mcq now this mcq is look very easy but on the day exam if you don't know how to differentiate such type of thing you will not go to the exam and you will not able to pass that exam very easily so being a teacher and being a mentor बींग मेंटोर आई विद रिकमेंड आप लोग को मैं बार बार ये कहता हूँ कि जब आप एग्जाम देने जाए यू शुड नो द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ दैट एग्जाम हाउ आई विल अपेयर इन द एग्जाम लास्ट अटैम आई टीच टू द स्टूडेंट एंड मोर देन एटी परसेंट आवर कंटेंट दे फेस इन द एग्जाम एंड दे आर वेरी हैप्पी एंड मेजोरिटी ऑफ देम इन स्पाइट ऑफ दिस एफ सी पी एस रिजल्ट इज नॉट गुड और एटी परसेंट स्टूडेंट आल्सो पास इन द प्रीवियस डाइट सो एक्चुअली दो स्टूडेंट हु आर प्लेन फॉर एफ सी पी एस पार्ट वन राइट नाउ without wasting any time they can contact us to learn such type of thing regarding we are providing usml is step 1 first aid we are providing such type of 3d important high yield mcq lecture every day plus side by side after every 20 days we take the mock test to jin logo ne irada kiya hai jin logo ne mind banaya hai fcps part 1 dene ke liye वो बिल्कुल एक दिन भी जाए किया बगैर आकर हमारे साथ ज्वाइन करे और इन आने वाले एफ में अपनी जर्नी को सक्सेस बनाएं और इन विक्ट्री विल बी यूर्स थैंक यू सो मच मुझे डॉक्टर सादिक मेरी टीम को इजाज़त दे दे यूट्यूब चैनल के ऊपर हम ये वीडियो अपलोड करेंगे ताकि आप लोगों को पता चले कि जो लोग नहीं भी जानते उनको एक आइडिया हो जाए इफ़ दे वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन एस दे कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस ऑन द गेवर नंबर थैंक यू सो मच अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़